All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This did the rounds uh, earlier. Johnny Depp returning to Pirates of the Caribbean as Jack Sparrow. Now, this has apparently been debunked, but the debunking isn't 100% sure. Like, we'll get into it. You'll see what I mean. But basically, it was reported earlier this year uh, that bosses were keen to bring Depp back for a sixth movie and a spin-off series to air Disney+. Plus. Uh, in an eye-watering 300 million deal, apparently. Now, he'd obviously stated in the trial he wasn't interested. You know, you'd have to give him a whole bunch of alpacas or llamas or whatever. But the latest... Uh, the latest comes from a call sheet, basically. Uh, which is really... This is where it doesn't really make too much sense on the debunking element. So, a source according to The Sun said Johnny Depp is set to return as Captain Jack Sparrow and is scheduled to start filming at the beginning of February at a top secret location in the UK. Everything is in the early stages and there's still no director attached to the project which is being called Pirates of the Caribbean A Day at Sea. Uh, now, a few things. If it's due to film in February, you'd have a director attached. That's really stupid. Secondly, working title, A Day at the Sea. Just A Day at Sea would be good. Remove the from it. But this is all, apparently there's a, a whole call sheet from the production. Because he's allegedly having a test shoot in the UK. Why would you have a test, this is where it doesn't really make any sense. You wouldn't have a test shoot when you're reprising a character. Unless there's a new character that you need to be do a screen test against, but you wouldn't really have a test shoot. There's not really any point. Uh, costume would be the same. The actor's the bloody same. But yeah, here we have it. Bruce Hendricks, who worked on the first three films, has been named as an executive producer on the new project. However, other details have been kept under lock and key, and the whole project is shrouded in secrecy, and Disney want to keep everything under wraps as best they can. So that's that was the news, which has been doing the rounds. And then we have this. <laughs> Johnny Depp not returning to the Pirates of the Caribbean in sixth film, despite rumours in Battlestar would reprise his role as Jack Sparrow after being axed by Disney. So this is the latest. I, uh, loads of people think it's like clickbait and things, but it's not. Because there, if there is a call sheet, if there is a call sheet, yeah, you'd think that he would be returning. And this is why the debunking element doesn't make too much sense. So check this out. Johnny Depp will not be returning to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise despite a report claiming his name had been spotted on a call sheet for a new movie in the hugely popular film series. So that's the rumour. A source told The Sun, which is a shit rag anyway, but the rumour is a source told The Sun that they'd seen a call sheet and his name was on it. So rumours began circulating Wednesday after a report claimed he would be reprising his role as Captain Jack Sparrow despite being axed from the franchise by Disney in 2018. However... Sources confirmed to the Daily Mail that the information is false. Now, I can see that Disney would want him to come back. They've already started using his likeness again uh, post-trial. We knew that. <clears throat> you know, he is a marketable person now. And he was anyway, but seen by these individuals, these companies, he's being seen as marketable again. You know, someone that has good Q scores, someone that can capture the public's attention and eyes again. Uh, and they've already been utilising that. <clears throat> yeah, we've seen that already. So would they want him back for a, a franchise that's basically dead in the water? <laughs> Pun intended. Uh, yeah, especially since they axed the Margot Robbie parts of the Caribbean, the all-female reboot. That's done. So I can see that there is some legitimacy behind that element. But here's the new stuff. So apparently an insider told The Sun that a sixth film in the franchise was in the pipeline with a working title of A Day at the Sea, claiming Johnny is set to return and uh, film in February, and we've seen the call sheet, basically. Meanwhile, the insider further would claim that everything is in the early stages, no director. Again, that doesn't really make any sense anyway. Uh, but the source would say, you know, a call sheet has been distributed among those in the know, Bruce Hendricks, who worked on the first three films, is named as the executive producer on the new project. 
In 2018, Disney produced a claim that Depp would not be asked to return, saying that they wanted to bring in a new energy to the Matchless films, which is the whole... It's where Margot Robbie comes into it. And now we have this. Um, so all, the, all the way down here. Which is... News of the movie comes after blah, blah, blah. This is his new Louis... Uh, basically, French king film. Uh, but apparently it's not happening. His Johnny Depp stuff, not happening at all. God, they really are dragging this article out. So, uh, the insider said, Disney reached out to the actor prior to his defamation trial. This is all about the 300 thing. Uh, but the source added, another project is in the works for Disney+, Plus, and they said the deal is reportedly for Johnny Depp to return as Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean 6 and a spin-off for Disney Plus series about the early life of uh, Captain of the Black Pearl. What I can tell you is that the studio has already penned up a draft. This is the Jack Sparrow stuff. Um, but then this new thing is just, no, this is all patently false. So there's a few rumours circulating. One, he's going to do a test screening for a film that doesn't even have a director in February. That doesn't make any sense. You you wouldn't need necessarily the actor to come and do a test shoot specifically. Not in the traditional sense anyway. And uh, and then that's been debunked, but that doesn't make any sense anyway because you wouldn't have a, f a film filming in February without a director. That's dumb as shit. That doesn't make any sense anyway. But then in June, you know, they were talking about this situation uh, that the actor has been in talks with Disney about a three hundred million dollar deal. Three hundred million dollars, <clears throat> unlikely, unlikely, because at the height of his fame. For you know, Jack Sparrow, it was like twenty six million dollars, a three hundred million dollar film. You know about a film and a uh, Disney Plus series. That's going to be one of the biggest paydays of all time. I just nah, I doubt, I doubt that that is the case. I doubt that that is the case. And this is what they were saying anyway. Disney reached out to the actor prior to his defamation trial against Amber Heard, and asked whether he'd be interested in returning. That's unlikely because. Prior to the defamation trial, everyone was against him. So, basically, is he going to be returning? Doesn't look like it. Not yet. Not yet at all. Um, not yet at all. You know, $301 million deal to coax debt back. No, it's not likely. You know, $22 million payday is what he lost. $22 million. It's not exactly. I mean, how would you get to $301 million at that point? But yeah, latest is no, that's not happening. This this weird news, weird report. At an early stage, uh, a day at the sea, Caribbean, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean film. No, this is not the case. Not the case at all. February, but we don't we don't actually have a director attached. No, 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 no. Bit of a shit show. Uh, multiple reports saying yes, multiple against, not happening. Let me know your thoughts.